title or WhatsApp you to photograph a running sweater and I try and this tutorial, I will give you five reasons as to why I hate or I don't like using the lasso tool when it comes to doing skin retouching and frequency separation in general. I'm not saying that using the lasso tool is the worst thing ever, but I just want to give you some of the difficulties regarding using the lasso tool when it comes to frequency separation as a skin retouching technique. So let me just highlight five reasons as to why and how I can easily demonstrate that in Photoshop. So the very first reason is going to be loss of contrast. So if I told I just come to this image right here and come to my actions right here. And if at all you're interested in the action, simply check the links in the description of this video to support the channel by purchasing my retouching essentials pack. So I'll just play my 16-bit action because this is a 16-bit image. And I'll simply come and play my 16-bit action. So after doing this, the action stops at, at the point when you have to determine the amount of skin textures that you want to remain with in the final image. So at around 7, so you take the radius until when you are losing out on the textures. So you start from zero and take it up at up to when you're losing out on the details or the skin texture in the image and stop at that point. So for this case at around seven, that is when I'm just starting to lose out on these textures and just simply hit OK. So if at all you don't have any idea about how frequency separation works, simply check my in-depth video. So I'm just going to delete this. I don't want this to be a long tutorial. So when it comes to using the lasso tool, the very first disadvantage is loss of contrast. For example, if at all we come and we select the lasso tool right here, and we select the low frequency layer, the very first issue that we're going to run into is loss of contrast. For example, in the darkest areas, when you apply the lasso tool in those areas, it may end up brightening up those areas, and it may also make you lose out on the brightest areas by flattening them so for example if at all i get the lasso tool and i simply come and i select this area right here that has this highlight on the cheek area and i come back to filter and come to blur and i'm just going to come to gush and blur and i start taking up the radius until when i feel like the skin is blending quite well you can notice that we have lost out. I'm just going to simply hit OK. You can notice that we have lost out on this nice highlight. You can see the before and after. You can see how we have lost out on that nice highlight. And if at all I come back and I apply it on a dark area, you are going to notice that you're going to be losing out on the darkness or the contrast in the dark area, for example, on the nose area. So right click and I'll apply the same radius. And you can see how it has been able to brighten that area of the nose. So you can see this is a disadvantage of using the lasso tool. So I would recommend that you use the Mr. Brush tool because that is going to blend the darkest areas and mix them. And they are going to be in one place without getting brightened at all. And the highlights are also going to be maintained. So that is disadvantage number one of uh, using the lasso tool as a tool for your skin retouch I'll just come to my history and I'll just go back a little bit so that is disadvantage number one disadvantage number two is going to be leaving annoying lines in the image so by annoying lines I know most people tend to use the lasso tool to make selections on the skin and they forget this most important step so if at all you come and you leave the feathering at zero pixels and you leave this mode to new selection for example and you come and you make a selection onto the skin right here you can see that this is going to be a very sharp edge so most times when you when you restart photoshop or when you reset your tools in photoshop the feathering may be at zero so you may have to keep on resetting this and if at all you're not careful and maybe if at all someone was using photoshop and they change the feathering pixels it is going to maintain that pixel in photoshop so if at all i press q once again so q is for checking how smooth the edges of the feathering are going to be or how smooth they are going to be 
so you can see how sharp these edges are going to be and zero pixels sharp also the lower the pixels the sharper the edges and the higher the pixels the smoother or softer the edges of the selection are going to be so i'm just going to press q once again right here to hide that mask so i've seen most people use a very sharp edge lasso tool so if at all i apply my frequency separation for example on this very image just like this so i'm just going to select on this image just like that and i come to filter and i come to blur and come to gaussian blur right here so if at all i take the radius slider up a little bit you can notice that the skin is going to be looking good yeah and everything is going to be looking fine regarding the skin texture but if at all i simply come and click ok you can notice as soon as i deselect by pressing ctrl d or clicking out from this selection you can notice that it leaves these annoying ugly lines within this very image you can see how ugly these lines are going to be and this also comes with another disadvantage of making the image look a little bit plastic so when using the lasso tool the other disadvantage you're going to be running into is these annoying lines because of the pixel uh, unlike regarding the mr brush tool that you set once and you simply remain within the edges of the area you're trying to work on so always when using the lasso tool simply use a feathering of around 20 pixels by 20 pixels you can notice that if at all we make a selection onto a skin and by pressing q you can see how smooth this is going to be and it is not going to be leaving those annoying lines so that is disadvantage number two of using uh, the lasso tool as a tool to do your skin retouching so you are going to be looking at disadvantage number three so i'm giving you a disadvantage and how you can easily avoid it so we are going to be looking at uh, disadvantage number three which is you can't use a lasso tool with a check layer so for example when using the Mesa brush tool what we tend to do most times we tend to hide the high frequency layer and we mix the areas and we blend them to look better but when using the, the lasso tool and we come and we make a selection it is going to be very hard for us to see how better the image is going to be looking so i'm just going to come back to filter blur and come to gaussian blur you can notice that it's going to be a little bit hard because this doesn't bring out everything that it is meant to be and the other disadvantage is going to be it leaves bumpiness in the image so i'm just going to show you this so i'm just going to uh, activate my high frequency layer once again so if at all we look at an area that has a little bit more of the contrast for example the neck area and we tend to apply our lasso to selection and we come back to filter blur and come back to gaussian blur right here you can notice that sometimes when you don't take the feathering all the way up it is going to leave this kind of bumpiness within the skin area so you have to be careful and when using the lasso tool on the overall image you have to keep on playing around with different radius to see which one is going to be working on a given area and that is going to consume so so much time of your retouching so always use a tool that works best for you i prefer using the mr bright tool for these other areas and i only applied the lasso tool on only the first area like i said at the start of the tutorial the lasso tool is not a bad tool for skin retouching but it is a quick tool but on the other hand it also takes so much of your time when you're trying to do the skin retouching so different areas may require you to use a different gaussian blur radius so that you can get the best out of the lasso tool but if at all you're using the mr brush tool one brush can work onto the whole image so the other disadvantage is getting a plastic image so by plastic i mean an unnatural looking image because remember when we're applying frequency separation we blood the low frequency layer. so meaning when it comes to using the lasso tool that is basically 
our last disadvantage when it comes to using the last the lasso tool rather we are going to apply another layer of gaussian blur meaning it is going to be blurring or reducing on the amount of skin details because we are applying gaussian blur twice to the skin and it's going to make it look plastic then one final disadvantage is when we are using the lasso tool or why i hate using the lasso tool when you select close to the edges for example and you apply just going to come and i select close to the edges of this image just like that so when you apply close to the edges of the image the selection usually copies color and it paints them into the selection so it copies colors nearby and it paints them to be part of the selection so i'm just going to come back to filter blur and come down to gaussian blur and i show you what this is going to do so let me just take down the radius a little bit so i'm just going to come and hit ok and deselect this by pressing ctrl d or you can click out from the selection if at all you have selected so you can see that it is copying some of the green color and painting it back or into the selection so to see this better i'm just going to undo this so to see this better i'm just going to use a slightly higher radius so that you can see the effect in real time so just going to come to filter blur and come back to gaussian blur so you can see sometimes using the lasso tool is going to be hectic because you have to keep on doing it back and forth so this is what i was trying to demonstrate for you so i'm just going to ctrl d to deselect you can see that it has brought back the green color and painted it on the skin because the green color has also been sampled amongst the closest pixels and has painted them back to the skin you can see before after before after so those are some of the disadvantages of using the lasso tool so by using the lasso tool to avoid these mistakes so for example if i told you want to avoid the mistake of copying color you have to keep within the edges or keep out from the edges of the image to remain within the selected color and also to avoid the plastic image you always have to multiply the radius of your gaussian blur by three so the radius used for your frequency separation multiply it by three so for my case mine was seven pixels so i'll just simply come and make a selection for example right here and come to filter blur and come to gaussian blur so seven by three i'll simply type in 21 and you can see that this makes the image look better and we have a very nice and just going to undo i'm just going to deselect so you can see that we have a very nice looking skin texture but this doesn't look okay because we still have the bumpiness that has letting you know so always i would recommend that you learn how to use the mr brush tool and you use the lasso tool as a supplement to fine tune the areas you may have missed out when you are using the lasso the mixer brush tool rather for your skin retouching so these are some of the reasons as to why i hate the lasso tool for skin retouching and i'm not saying that i don't use the lasso tool i use it to fine tune the areas that i miss out on the mixer brush tool it gets the job done but it is not as perfect as i have highlighted in this video so this is it for this video and if at all you have learned a thing or two from this video don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you don't subscribe to this channel ronix from ronix photography Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more tutorials on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.